They're put into specially cooled greenhouses where they give them the best treatment to make sure they the yeah. best chance of uh, producing healthy offspring. Hi, I'm Sarah Forster, Deputy News Editor here at The National, and welcome to this week's edition of A Closer Look. Now, 2023 is, of course, the year of sustainability, and sustainable farming is one of the important issues on the agenda. We've already seen vertical farms cropping up around the country, and it looks like we're now moving into livestock. To talk more about this is our reporter, Nick Webster. Thank you for coming in, Nick. No problem. So let's talk about sustainable farming in the UAE as it stands now. What's the picture look like? Okay, so it's been a huge shift in the way farming is done here in the UAE in recent years. We've seen a transition towards more hydroponic farming where they uh, take all the soil out of the, the, the plant containers and put the roots directly into water for packed for nutrients. We've seen a huge amount of vertical farming being done here and now we're seeing livestock being farmed here for the first time. So more sheep coming to the country being, grow, being reared here in the UAE rather than being imported from elsewhere. How are they normally imported? Okay, well these, these sheep in particular would be imported from Western Australia as a rule into the Middle East. Uh, Saudi Arabia is a huge importer, around 29% of all sheep exported around the world comes into Saudi, mm -hmm. as is Oman, Jordan and Qatar, as is the UAE as well. So it's a huge importer, this region of sheep. Um, and these uh, livestock vessels can take around three weeks to, uh, to be at sea, sometimes in very hot conditions, obviously. Uh, and it's not great for the welfare of the animals. Now, things are changing. Australia is changing the law. They've already banned exports during summertime and looking to also phase out um, live exports to the Middle East in the future. So the UAE's have to look at how it produces its livestock and how it rears sheep here on the ground in the sands of the UAE. So there are already, there's already some livestock reared here, right? You know, camels, obviously, like tons of camels, and then also some cattle, I think. Uh, sheep, not so much. So I understand there's something kind of special about this kind of sheep. Yeah, camel farming is well established, obviously. Cattle farming is very expensive. Um, but uh, sheep is something new, uh, it, to, to this extent anyway. Um, now they're looking at uh, raising this particular breed called the Australian White. It's perfect for these conditions in the Middle East. Um, it's from Western Australia, but it's also very hot. It's almost hairless and it can actually grow hair when it's cold and it can shed hair when it's hot. So it's perfectly suited for this kind of environment. And it's also a very fast grower, so mm -hmm. it produces meat very quickly and it's very high quality meat. Uh, now the key is in uh, the way this herd is managed, if you like. Um, now I went to see Verticroft Holdings this week in Dubai. They're about to move their stock from Dubai into a huge new farm in Abu Dhabi. It started with 200 sheep. It's going to be potentially something like 7,000 7, within a few, few years' time. So mm -hmm. uh, the potential for growth is absolutely huge. Um, yeah, and farmers monitor the sheep by looking at uh, the cholesterol level of the meat, uh, the nutrients they take on board, um, pregnant ewes. They're put into specially cooled greenhouses mm -hmm. where they're given the best treatment to make sure they the mm -hmm. best chance of uh, producing healthy offspring. Mm -hmm. And they're really well cared for, really well looked after. At the moment, the meat's very expensive, so it's... Uh, only really sold to high-end hotels, high-end restaurants mm. around the UE, but that's going to change. The more they do this, the cheaper it will be, uh, be available to all of us eventually in the future, hopefully. Oh, good. So it's going to become more affordable. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's a scaling up operation they're doing now. So the bigger it gets, the prices will come down, hopefully, and we can all enjoy this lovely meat. Hmm. So it started with vegetables. Now we're moving to sheep. Like what, what does the future of UAE sustainable farming look like, do you think? Okay, well there's certainly going to be less pressure on imported goods for sure. Uh, we saw um, the shipping industry grind to a halt really during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, containers left all over the planet and that made it very difficult for companies to import goods into this, this region. So there is much more focus now on, import, uh, on being self-sustaining and uh, you know, growing whatever we can here. We've seen great success with vertical farms, growing tomatoes, leafy greens, uh, berries, strawberries, blueberries. Um, really successful on that front. Mm -hmm. We've also seen success in salmon farming. Salmon farming has also been really successful here, mm -hmm. having these huge water pens, transferring the fish from the cold fresh water into the seawater to try and mimic the, the life cycle in the wild. So that's been really successful as well. Lambing and sheep rearing is the next step, I think. Wow. Okay. One step closer to being entirely self-sustained here in the UAE. That's the dream. If it's possible, who knows, but we're certainly trying. All right. Thank you very much, Nick. Okay. Well, that's it for this week's episode of A Closer Look, brought to you from right here in the National Newsroom. Remember, you can find all of our previous episodes on our YouTube channel, and if you have any suggestions for a future episode, you can always leave your comment in the box underneath.